coyotes and water tanks that's the real that's the thing to think about when you're in kind of an arid area is to find the water and to set that up let's go ahead and put this guy down and we'll remake the set nice pup caught in a fox style uh, dirt hole okay we got that coyote put down and this is just a foxy type of a set um there we go all it is and, and believe me it's nothing fancy but this ground was hard and it's still hard so i'm just making kind of like my my dirt hole set that works something like that a, a modified charlie robbins and uh I'm just going to use my driver here and make myself a mouse wobble hole because it is hard ground. Wobble it out a little bit. There we go. Got that done. I've got my trap set using a, an old O'Gorman modified uh, bridger number three set about eight inches back nine inches pan center and uh there we go get me uh see left me my wool uh just using a plastic sandwich bag Let's go ahead and get the dirt and fill her in. And just take this extra dirt in here and kind of tighten it up, put it along your dog's side. Let's go ahead and pack it in. The interesting, I had an interesting conversation about a guy, or talking to a guy, and uh, I'm leaving this somewhat open right there on the pan side. I'm, I'm pushing the dirt up here, but as just like the RJ, I keep this tight over here because that's where the dog is. I don't want him there. And I'm going to make just a little tiny silver dollar spot where I want them to step right there so let me get a little bit of this it don't take much now and I'm telling them where I want them to go just like I told him I'm going to dish it out a little bit more I want more of a pronounced more of a pronounced step right there so just a little bit that's enough so now i told him where i want him to step and uh see if i can find me a stick or so i got here's one right here in the wool so i'm just gonna go over here and put this right over here to, i'm gonna stick it in the loose dirt i don't want them stepping over here so we'll just add something right there i got all kinds of grass in mixing with my wool all right, I'll just get some new wool here. I guess I could reuse it. So I'm going to use my uh, Flint Hills Red Fox Pace Bait. Put that in the hole. Had one stick sticking there. There we go. I think I got as much on the outside as I did on the inside. So let me get a little bit more on the inside. There we go. So this set is not going to be very conducive for... I'm a little nervous about coyotes. I'm going to go and put this kind of right over the top of it. Nothing big, just... <coughs> he can flip it off if he wants. 
<clears throat> but I'm going to take a stick here and if I put the Oklahoma suicide right here the problem I'm going to have is rolling for it perhaps so just taking a little twig and putting a little bit just like that and just put it on the upwind side as they're checking that out they're going to they're going to smell my odors this is just a little louder but it's another way to deal with a less uh, guided set so we got the set done I got the coyote it's, uh, I guess I'll go ahead here and uh, get going brush it out so you can find any other <coughs> if any other coyotes come into your circle you'll know it peg leg coyote caught here yesterday a bobcat before that a coyote before that this is a good spot uh, kind of got this cane type of ground hay barn and uh, got ourselves another one in that foxy type set we just built so anyway let me go ahead and put him down and uh, we'll remake the set again yeah kind of peeking over my shoulder here get rid of these stones and uh, just a little foxy set Nothing too big. Caught in that little old uh, Duke 550 is what this one is. Okay. And take my drill and this is set. Can't go in too far into that stuff, but got in a little bit. All right, better than I did yesterday. I think I just used a wobble hole yesterday. So let me go ahead and redo this set. Just a nice little fox set. Um, remember yesterday how we uh, took the uh, Oklahoma suicide sauce and threw it up wind. Well, I'll do the same thing again today. Let me go ahead and get this trap. To one of uh, on night laps there we go remember we didn't use any pan cover on this it's pretty pretty fluffy but take your trap and uh, put your loose jaw underneath of the underneath of it you know and um, the traps laying better this way on a quarter you can be straight in that that's fine so let's go ahead and cover this up Lay that out. I keep getting in your view. I'm sorry about that, folks. I gotta let me cock myself around. The uh, uncover this a little bit, find our pan, and let's pack it in. Pack that in. Make sure the trap isn't gonna move. a little bit there what you do is if it moves you on the side you push down the other side comes up go and hold it down and then push behind it I think we got her now okay we're gonna consider that good and let me scrape up a little of this extra duff and uh, we're gonna kind of brace in the sides a little bit and let me go ahead and finish Again, I'm going to leave a little bit of a cup right here, right? This is uh, what I want them to... This is right where I want them to step, so let's... Let's have that dished out a little bit, right? There we go. That's the dip out spot. I'm going to push a little dirt a little close to it. But not too much. Just one little dip. That's where I want them to step. Maybe a little, that's more fines than dirt. There we go, got a little dirt in there. So now I have that. Let's take this extra duff here. Kind of your Charles Daly type of a dirt hole. Now this side is our dog side. So let's go and crowd, let's crowd that in a little bit. It ain't perfect, but it's the side we want them on. This side I'm leaving open 
over here they can come in this way but I want those guys and I'll put some more dirt over here on the on the dead side let's go ahead and put some of that and I'll put a little bit over the front you know a coyote can easily move this I mean this this is kind of the honor system kind of like kind of like locking your car you know someone can break a window and get in but it'll keep the honest people out so kind of a closed door over here wind wind is coming across my set let's go ahead and get our lure and bait using Flint Hills Red Fox paste bait about that much and my hole isn't very deep but he's still got the, as hard as this ground is he'll have to work at it I got some of this old grassy wool I'll stick that in that'll kind of cover that up and so he'll he's going to know it's there and let's take the Oklahoma suicide sauce just like I did yesterday and I'm going to put just a little bit, just a little bit on my stick and toss it behind the set. Put it back there where they're not going to know, uh, where if he wants to roll on it, that's fine. He can roll on it over there. But the wind is going to come across here. So he's going to check this out, check that out, whatever, and get caught. So just like he did there. So good deal. Let's see, this is the third coyote out of this set and one bobcat. So it's been a it's been an excellent location out of here. Let me keep going. 